friends and welcome back to Premier Finds. I hope that you are doing well. Today, I am going to go over a few things that I introduced to you a couple of videos ago. I've been utilizing these things and I want to tell you if I am enjoying them or if I wish I had done something a little different. Happy Women's Month. Happy Women's History Month. For those of you, I said it in the last video, I'm gonna say it in every video this month. Thank you for every woman who is being great. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you do. First up, the greens. It's empty, right? Every one of them are gone. Love, 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 love. I take the gummies three a day. I dip one of the pills in the water and they are great. If you are looking for some type of supplementation to your diet, this gives you the daily necessary greens that you need. You've got to give them a try. These are eight greens products, okay? The other thing that I wanted to come back and tell you about was this Babyliss iron. I hadn't quite spent that much on a flat iron, but I will tell you, I am enjoying it. I did my own hair yesterday. It may look a little rough because I got caught in the rain. It did well, flat ironing it. You do not have to go over it a million passes. You don't have to do that. I also like that depending on what heat level, it goes all the way up to 450 degrees. And what I enjoy is that as you increase the degree of heat, it starts at green, it goes to yellow, and it goes to red. And I love that because it's giving you a visual that, hey, watch it, you're at the highest degree that the iron will go to. So I love that visual because what you don't want to do is to buy a flat iron and you have to go over it a million times. That's where the damage to your hair comes in. So this one shows you, excuse me, ma'am, you're getting a little hot there. Love that. And the ion goes off and on. And what that button does, if you want that on, that is usually designed for more coarse hair, which is what I have. And so I put that button on so that I get the most bang for my buck. This retailed for about $170 and it was worth every single bit. So I am enjoying that product. I don't think I mentioned this to you in a previous video, but I used this primer today for my makeup and I enjoyed it. I don't know how it's looking now, but I really like the, the feel of it and my makeup went on very well. What is it? It is the Laura Mercier Pure canvas primer. I try a lot of different makeup because I enjoy it and I rely on you guys. I love it when you guys put in the comment, you're going to love it or I tried it, didn't like it, use it with this. Let's learn together, okay? But I will tell you, I enjoyed the performance that it gave me under my makeup and today I use the Giorgio Armani. Still loving it still loving it. Laura Mercier, she did not disappoint, only used it once, so I will keep you updated on that. Let me tell you what else I'm using and enjoying. Cloth and paper. I have been using this for a little while. I love it. I love it. I love it. It is a beautiful planner. Planner smells so good. You can get a monthly subscription to cloth and paper. Um, they do a beautiful job with their, not only their leather goods in terms of planning, but their accessories are, are top notch. I just used cute little pens to help me stay organized. I utilize paper planning more efficiently than I do digital planning. Please let me know in the comments section, do you like digital planning or paper planning? I am all about paper planning. I just have to see it. I'm still using both, but thoroughly enjoying the cloth and paper. Because it is when Women's History Month, I thought it would be nice to go over a few things that involve some revitalization, some self-care, some, oh, I just need a moment for me. We gotta keep up with our manis and petties. And let me tell you what I did the other day and I thoroughly enjoyed it and I highly recommend. Not only did I get a pedicure, I investigated and indulged in a brushing pedicure. Hands down, best pedicure I have ever had in my life. My feet have never been softer, very thorough. It is just amazing. I exercise and run on five days a week, so I'm pretty hard on my feet and I give them a heads up and a warning before they get going. I am telling you, my feet feel like, feels like a baby's bottom. Now, it took me two hours. I'm gonna tell you, it takes a long time, but they are there to get it done. Another interesting component was that there was no water involved, none. It is a dry pedicure. I told the lady, I like my water hot, and they just started laughing. They don't use any water on your feet. 
I've never had a better pedicure. It was expensive. It was almost $100. But I tell you what, I will not have to go back in two weeks. I doubt that I have to go back in three weeks because it included gel polish and they finally got it right, friends. It was well worth it to me. Russian pedicure. If you can look it up and find somewhere to go and get that done, you won't be disappointed. I'm going to insert a picture of the finished product. So make sure you get that done, okay? First thing, Barefoot Dreams blanket. So Oprah listed Barefoot Dreams many, many, many years ago in one, when she had her magazine and it was one of her favorite things. She put them on the map. They are based out of Malibu. California. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful goods with a very soft hand. Beautifully packaged. You've probably seen them in Neiman's, Nordstrom. They are not inexpensive. This blanket goes for about $185. And I will say this, if you wait, I encourage you to wait. In fact, I'm going to say it. Yes, wait until Nordstrom has their sale this summer. Pick it up then. I think they do one for around $90. And that is usually about 200 bucks and they mark it down for about 90. I don't know what it'll be this year, obviously, but they are always having a blanket. They feature a blanket at their anniversary sale. I wish it was feel a vision I don't know what to tell you. It, it's just delightful. It's delicious. It's fantabulous. Launders well, no fabric softer cold water, very gentle drying cycle. And it comes out, this is my second one. I love it. They started off making baby blankets and went from there. And they did so well with blankets, they went into clothing lines. And I am here to tell you, yes, you can get a lounge set from Target. Yes, you can get a lounge set from Walmart and there's nothing wrong with that. But a Barefoot Dreams lounge set after work is the creme de la creme. It is the piece de resistance. It is beautiful. I love it. I love it. I wish you could feel it. Launders as well as the blankets do. Their lounge sets come in different levels of heaviness. This is the cozy chic light. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this I use because I like to feel warm even in the summertime. I and if the AAC is on, I still want something a little heavier. But if you are having hot flashes and things of that nature, you may want to go with something called Cozy Chic Light. But I do love this. Now the top, and the color is called Fig. They do very earth tones because they focus on their whole beach or mantra is the is their theme. And then the bottom. Now this one comes in and I usually don't enjoy that, but it works for me for lounging. This you can wear as a lounge set and you can also put this sucker on and head to the grocery store and you can also meet friends for dinner or lunch or what have you. It is, it would be a very casual dinner if you will. My point is you can wear it out. There's some lounge stuff that needs to stay at the house. This is one that can go for both. So I love that color. The color again is called Fig and it feels beautiful. If you are in the market for a nice blanket but you don't want to break the bank, I would suggest uh, Vera Bradley does a beautiful blanket. Beautiful, beautiful blanket. Barefoot Dreams are going to, their colors are going to be kind of neutral and calming. Again, beach thing. Vera Bradley's is much thicker. It is very luxe too. I, I hope you can appreciate the thickness of this blanket. But with Vera Bradley, she's known for very bold and audacious prints. And this one does not disappoint. I love using this when I travel. I use it in hotel rooms. I don't know, I get a little creepy about laying on their stuff. So if you are in the market for a little luxe, as it is women's History Month, try a Vera Bradley blanket and or Barefoot Dreams. You will not be disappointed. I want to show you something that I purchased for myself that was a little bit out there for me, but I did it anyway. Shoes. Dolce Vita. I have always been afraid of a high top. I just don't, I don't know, but I did it. Guys, tell me if it was a hit or miss. I, I think it's cute. I like it. It is kind of an off-white. I love the little hint of black there. You don't even have to manip manipulate or use the strings to get in the shoe. Come in from the side there, and then it has Dolce Vita right there on the tongue, the top of the tongue. Zip her up, keep going, and you're in good shape. Usually I'm afraid of a white shoe because I have larger feet, but this one worked in the store. It feels very good too. This one was, I think it was 185. They marked it down. Oh, they marked this down, I think, to about 80 bucks, if I remember correctly. Dolce Vita feels really good. I like this for loungewear, and I'm gonna show you a picture of that shortly, but 
This one feels very good and I really like that. I picked that up at Nordstrom. Outfit of the day. All right, we have these beautiful caramel leather pants by Rag and & Bone. And would you pay attention please to the little cut in front of the ankle there? I love that. Like a little tulip hem there. Love, love, love showing off the pedicure, okay? I, I wear leather in the spring, ladies. It's not officially spring yet. But with the right shirt, you can easily pull off leather in the spring. When, with the reversible Louis Vuitton belt. I uh, pulled out uh, an oldie but goodie, one of my tees from BB. Threw on some Yerman jewelry, the Hermes bracelet. And now I wanna show you how this looks with the sweater. And then guys, if you are saying, Michelle, it is still freezing in my part of the world, I don't care what you say. Listen guys, I picked this up from Cabby. Beautiful poncho, I love it so, so much. You don't have to have it off of the shoulder, but if you do, adds for a little excitement to an evening and you're still warm but you're chic doesn't have to be this bag ladies it can be any bag additionally the last time i did a video i was encouraging you to consider buying at the end of the season because you get better deals on your items so as we are going into spring and summer i showed you last week how i got these uh, gloves that were a hundred over $100 and I paid, I don't know, I think I told you maybe I paid 20 bucks for these gloves. And I told you that I did the same thing with a denim coat and I promised you I would bring that back. And here is the coat, it is from The Gap. It is from several seasons ago. I just wanted to show you how much you could save. This coat was $200, I think it was at the end of the season, I paid like 40 for it. But look how beautifully it works with the gloves. So sometimes you just have to go ahead and get the items, but it works beautifully. I'm gonna put it on just because I can, really, really quickly, because I can. I want you to see. Now, I will admit, when you get to the end of the season, the sizes are a little scattered, and this is an extra small. I probably would have gone with a small, but I loved it so much, and at that price point, I said I'm going to make it work. And I don't think it looks bad, I just can't wear a very thick uh, sweater with it. But here it is, I love it. 40 bucks from 200, I mean, come on guys, at the end of the season. And then I pop these cute little suckers off. I guess I can do this now. And we are there, okay? So initially they wanted over 300 for both pieces. I paid less than 100 for both of them. It's not about what you buy sometimes, it's about when you buy it to get the very best price point. I just wanted to come in and show you a couple of things that I have been enjoying, the latest premiere finds. Listen, this month is all about us. Be great, enjoy some luxury, do some end of season shopping, take care of yourself, continue to look beautiful, continue to look your best with your flat iron, take your vitamins, gotta get that going, and in order for us to do the millions of things that we do, stay organized. Continue to be your best self, and please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, au revoir.